Sharpen your swords, because we have the latest episode of Demon Slayer Swordsmith Village Arc Episode 2 to look at. This one starts off shocking as we see the being that looks like Upper One is a doll. They had us in the first half. That was some good misdirection. But look at the doll's face. It's seen better days. The Swordsmith doesn't want to give the Mist Hashira Tokito the doll. Tokito is having none of this, resorting to violence. So of course that forces Tanjiro to step in, but he's facing a Hashira, so he gets batted away easily. What can you expect? Plot armor can't help you there. As Tokito lays things out calmly and quietly, saying my time is more valuable than yours since i can save lives so we can do this the easy way or the hard way and the hard way involves torture that's tough as he doesn't lie but still you didn't have to question him like that while well, tanjiro conveys these feelings perfectly he's not cruel just an asshole while well, tanjiro gives his own speech about swordsmiths being just as important as the swordsman but i guess tanjiro wasn't listening when tokito said that a hashira's time is important because tokito just knocks him out and continues on his way taking the doll and the key to activate it tanjiro really thought he had the talk no jutsu and just got knocked out and we see our favorite swordsmith Haganezuka would have helped Tanjiro out but didn't want to be seen. An incredibly shy swordsmith. As we see Tanjiro's speech must have tugged at his heart and he couldn't stay mad. But shouldn't he be out there making a sword? Well he may not need to as we'll find out. Well he dips before Tanjiro can see him so unfortunately we will have to wait another day for that reunion. We learned that the doll is special named Yorichi type 0 capable of 108 moves and used for training the best of the best. I guess we found what Kanroji was talking about in terms of getting stronger and we get to see that training in action as Tokito starts to fight it. Yorichi needing 6 arms to replicate the moves of the swordsman it's based off of is insane. Imagine being so strong someone needs to triple the amount of normal human arms to replicate your style. Too bad they couldn't replicate the face perfectly. Just look at that eyeball, it looks so weird without the parts around it. But the attention to detail is cool as you can see the scar. Well, Tanjiro starts to slowly remember that face, but unfortunately the doll is from 300 years ago, so there isn't much knowledge on it, and if it breaks down, everyone that could repair it is no longer in this world. Just as we meet the most annoying crow of all time, Tokito's crow, who proclaims he's a genius using the first breathing style that everything is derived from, sun breathing. But like Tanjiro, we should immediately be suspicious as Tanjiro claims that doesn't look like sun breathing he's also the mace hashira not the sun hashira that's all I'm saying. Kotetsu runs away now wanting to see the doll destroyed and Tanjiro gives a great speech after a well-deserved flick to the face. Everything in life happens gradually. When one person may not be able to do, another may build upon that and accomplish that goal. Tanjiro understands he may not save his sister, but he will work until the fire that makes up his life is used up and at that point pass on the embers in his heart to another, just like the flame Hashira did. So he imparts that knowledge onto Kotetsu. Okay, I lied. He does have to talk no jutsu, just for someone that will actually listen. Well, they pass Tokito as he is done with the sparring session, he just switches swords since his broke. I guess he makes the sword, the sword doesn't make him, but he spits on all samurai. As we all know, the sword is a samurai soul. Well, he ends up taking one from the doll since he cut off an arm, leaving it with five, and Tanjiro and Kotetsu rush to see just how broken it is. Good news is that it's not broken and we get to train with it. The bad news for Tanjiro is that this 10 year old is the one that is training him and that's for better or for worse. Which for the most part seems like for worse since we see Tanjiro get beat and on top of that, can't even eat. Poor Tanjiro had to drink rainwater to avoid death. Kotetsu wants Tanjiro to get stronger than Tokito to show him up and also say some pretty mean words. But a guy as nice as Tanjiro couldn't say those words. I could though, stronger or not, I would talk shit all day. At least that's what Kotetsu does to Tanjiro, pretty much calling him and his fighting trash. He was trained by a previous Hashira. Why is anyone surprised they made it into the Demon Slayer core? Also, shouldn't he have been trained better? But that's just me. But it seems to work as we see on death's door, Tanjiro levels up. As he reaches for the opportunity, he gets one strike in, which means boom. Food, finally. Rice balls and pickled plums to be exact. Now Tanjiro is able to see where he's going to attack and puts himself into position to attack, but doesn't want to break it. That's when the fire passes onto Kotetsu burns, giving Tanjiro permission to break it as he will dedicate his life to fixing it no matter what. We love to see it. And he breaks his sword, only to reveal a 300 year old sword. I guess he won't be needing that new sword after all, or even better, dual wield. A pretty good episode. The last episode ended on a cliffhanger that was immediately answered and then built upon throughout this episode. We end this one in the same way, with a 300 year old your old sword is our new cliffhanger and I expect that to be built upon in the next episode. They also include more insight into Kotetsu, who will most likely be close to the center for this next arc, while ending with some action and a good training sequence. A little bit of everything this episode, unlike the opening thread, there wasn't something new to latch onto for this improvement Tanjiro has made, but that's okay since there doesn't always need to be some new cool animation. Although we can get used to that since each new dance and move has some stellar animation to go with it, we only got some color changes here. Not to mention ending on Kanroji, who told Tanjiro about a power Power up so we know something's going on there. This has been Animated Strobe, and episode 2 of Demon Slayer Swordsmith's Village has officially been disrobed.